You spoke about going to California and like, you know, your grandmother kind of uh, nudging you and, and, and forcing you to sing in the church. Mm -hmm. your, your sister saying, come on, sing at this talent show. Exactly. You know, <laughs> you know? but you said when you got that call and I got to put this in here from Chip Fields. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tootie's mama. Tootie's mama. Tootie's mama. Burning kids with irons. Tootie's mama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The great yeah. Chip Fields, though, because yes. she has helped and 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 groomed and and yes. and, and uh, so many of our stars out there. Chip has yes. worked with, and yes. you got that call to what? What did you sing? Like a Patty LaBelle song? I sang the first line of "If Only You Knew," and the story is: I was in the bed on a Wednesday night in the Bronx, and it was August, so we didn't have school. And um, my mother came in the room and she was like, it's on Tootie's mother's on the phone. Like, <laughs> I'm glad she said Tootie's mother. <laughs> Tootie's, mo Tootie's mother's on the phone and she wants you to sing something for her. So I get up, go in my mother's father's room. I get on the phone and she's like, hey, baby, um, can you sing me something real quick? So I sing the first line of it for me, you know, she says, okay, put your mama back on. And I go back to bed. I get in the bed like, whoop. And then... My mother comes back in minutes later and she's like, okay, you gotta wake up because you're gonna pack a bag and you're gonna go to California tomorrow and you're gonna audition for a TV show. And if you don't get the part, she'll send you back home. And if you get the part, you're gonna live with her and Tootie for a little while until somebody from our family comes out. Wow. And so next thing I know, Thursday morning, I wake up and my father's driving me around to say goodbye to my family. Um, and then I go to the airport and I get on a plane by myself. Never been on a plane at 10 before, ever. And I land in Los Angeles. And when I get out from the plane and come up the jetway, uh, walkway thing, I see Tootie and I see Chip Fields, and I see her daughter, Alexis, who was three at the time. Oh, wow. And we got in her car, and we drove from the airport to Pico Boulevard in La Brea. Okay, I know what that is. And, and <laughs> there used to be a Golden Bird right there, like in this mini mall shopping center, but she had a conservatory mm. where she had, you know, kids, up to like 18, 19, 20 years old, um, they were, she was producing a play, but it was also where people, youth went to learn singing and dancing and acting and all that stuff. And so she put me in the play immediately the day I landed. So she never intended on sending me home. <laughs> and um, Friday came and I auditioned, she took me to the audition and I auditioned for Kids Incorporated. And then Monday I started work. Oh. I started work at like six in the morning, had to be up to be there at seven, you know, and going through makeup and all that stuff. And like, we would have to be on set to start work at like eight o'clock. And what my whole life. Is your 10 year old mind with this? This is like overnight. Literally. And how did Tootie's mama know you could sing? Who, who told her about you? Okay, so <laughs> my uh, my sister's friend, we all went to the same school in the Bronx. I was in the elementary part, they were in the junior high part. And my sister's friend was in Cali visiting uh, Chip and Kim because. That's her niece, cousin situation. And the producers from the show asked her, Chip, you know, if she could, you know, give them uh, a kid who could sing. And she happened to ask her niece, you know, any little black boys who could sing? And she said, yeah, my friend's little brother can sing. Wow. And so they called me that night. Oh my and, goodness. And then the next day, my whole life was like, Change. 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 Well, I see in the comments, Miss Miss Myasha, I'm sorry if I'm messing up your name. I wonder if there was any trauma behind having to say goodbye to your family and, it, and if it affected your feelings about the industry. Hmm. Um, 
I was having this conversation with my older sister the other day. Um, because in reflecting about what that time was for me, I felt alone, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I had to grow up faster. Yeah. You know, because I was put in a scenario situation where I had to be on my own. You know, I'm living essentially with strangers. I see them on TV, but I don't know these people. Right. You know, and I'm, I don't have the comfort and security of my grandmother and grandfather anymore, my father and mother, my sisters. And it was interesting because, you know, children adapt so easily to yeah. whatever's going on. Mm hmm so by day, I'm on Kids Incorporated singing and dancing and mm -hmm. cost costumes and with other kids who are singing and dancing. So it's a world of like, oh, this is fun. And then in the evening, I would go and do the play that she put me in that she was directing that was a religious-based play, mm -hmm. music musical. And then I'd get home at like 12 o'clock at night and get into bed and be like, where is everybody? Mm. Like, in you know, sleeping in the other bedroom and my sisters are not there. I'm not arguing with them. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We not trading food. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it was rough, you know? And um, with that experience, it conditioned me to in a lot of ways, like be easily adaptable with being on my own and alone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And you know, that, that's where solitude came from, huh? Well, that was the start of it, you know. Um, now, you know, it makes it possible for me to exist in a way where like, I know I'm loved. I know I have friends and family that I love, but I'm also able to be on my own and alone in the world. You know, mm -hmm. I'll miss people, but the need for certain tangible things, not so much. Wow. You know wow. what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's but I'm, interesting. But I'm also listening like, I'm like, you was working a hundred hours a day. The trauma, the the solitude, the, the yeah. family, that's its own thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm, Work. I'm thinking where, where the child labor laws, because you was <laughs> well, you know, okay. Now the, the child labor laws were absolutely in place during the day for the TV show. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um and I'm grateful for the experience though, because that created my uh, ability to be professional. Mm -hmm. um, it also uh, gave me stamina okay. to be able to do what I do, you know what I'm saying? And do it as long as I've been doing it. And at the um, level, and at the level. Respect. Right, right, exactly which is a blessing and, and I'm grateful for that. Um, but yeah, when I look back, you know, there are moments today where I'm like, I could retire. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I be feeling like, oh shit, <laughs> you know? Um, and I think of almost 40 year career of doing anything, you anything. would get, you would get to that place of like, now I can just, whoosh, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. there's still joy in doing what I do. Um, I just understand and have to uh, allow for the truth to, to, to hit me that I've been doing this as long as I have. And I have a right to feel how I feel about it, mm -hmm. you know? 
um, regardless of what other people think or feel. Mm -hmm. um, and it's my choice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, uh, I don't plan on not creating anymore. You know, just moments where it's like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> next. <laughs> right. You know? And, you know, that brings up a thought of when people ask you, you know, when's the next album? When's the next album? And you're like, I have to live life. Yeah. You know what I mean? I have to have something to say. I'm yeah. not a person who's just going to say something just to be saying something. And not to mention what you just shared with us about working since you were 10 yeah. as an adult. Yeah. On, because it was a kid show, but you had oh, adult was... responsibility. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I again, I understand when people say, where's the next record? <clears throat> um, and if I'm in the mood to respond, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's a response that is acknowledging their uh, support and desire for another album. Um, I also feel that what I have put out is uh, a substantial amount of energy and love, quality. Mm -hmm. um, none of it is filler, you know? Um, timeless, timeless. It's. It's enough to feed on for eternity. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, and I look forward to continuing to create and make art when it hits me, you know, when I feel it's time for me to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. <laughs> because you're like, I got to have something to say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I have to be propelled and compelled to to want to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And again, like work that's out there is there for people to discover still. Mm -hmm. You know, and if they discover it tomorrow and they decide to take the journey from the beginning to now, mm -hmm. they won't need another record. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For a while. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, no, I, I, I feel that. 